Well, today, a big announcement from a San Francisco-based artificial intelligence company as the race to develop AI-powered products, well, that heats up. But as Skylar Henry reports, the technology can also have some unintended consequences. At an open AI conference in San Francisco Monday, the technology company announced a significant update to its chat GPT product. You're doing a live demo right now? That's awesome. GPT-4.0 now includes the ability to interact with live speech. The artificial intelligence actually listens to the audio instead of transcribing the speech first, which cuts down response time. Ah, I see it now. The new version also utilizes images to help problem solve. So ChatGPT, this is what I ended up with. How does this look? Spot on. Google is expected to announce its own AI developments Tuesday, and Apple has an event scheduled for June. The race isn't just to be first with the tech, but to become dominant. And to do that, the companies need to know how to protect consumers from potential AI abuses. Our team has been hard at work figuring out how to build in mitigations against misuse. We continue to work with different stakeholders out there from government, media, entertainment, all industries. Beyond the competition among AI developers, China and the U.S. are facing off in their own global competition to implement artificial intelligence. The U.S. and China will hold talks Tuesday on how the two countries can work together to safely deploy AI technologies. Keeping lines of communication open on the risks of the technologies that are transforming our world is an important part of competing responsibly. Part of the tech arms race includes developing computer chips capable of carrying out AI functions.